Welcome to the Wiz Toolbox tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to configure your devices with Lara 1 and Lara P2P networks, send AT commands from a list of the most important ones, create and apply templates, and save all your information in the cloud using your Rack ID. Wiz Toolbox is available in all app stores. We will be posting the link where you can download the Wiz Toolbox in the description of this video. Download and install the app, connect your device, and let's get started. This is the main homepage of Wiz Toolbox. Before connecting your device, we recommend signing in with your Rack ID. Click the Sign In button at the bottom left. An authentication form will open in your internet browser. Create your Rack ID account if you don't already have one. Then enter your Rack ID and password. Click Login and authorize the use of your Rack account in Wiz Toolbox. You're now logged in. Click Connect the Device button. The app will search for the devices connected to your computer. In case of failure, check your USB cable, the connection of the USB serial converter, and if the module is powered correctly. You should also close any other serial terminal software that has an active connection to your LARA module. Once everything is set, Wiz Toolbox will recognize the device and fill in the fields for port, device, bout rate, bit size, parity, and stop bits. Leave the default values and click connect. The device will appear automatically. Click on it. You will see the device information and the link to the official documentation. In the Parameters tab, you can select the network mode in which you want to use your device. Select LARA1 mode to connect and send data to the LARA1 network server. Scroll down to View and change connection parameters and click Apply Commands to upload the configuration. Every time you switch from LARA1 to LARA P2P mode, and vice versa, a configuration message will appear. Click Yes, I'm sure. It will then restart and reinitialize the device automatically. In network mode, select P2P connection and communicate with other LARA device. Configure details such as frequency, spread factor, TX power, bandwidth, code rate, and preamble length. However, you must have another LARA device that acts as the receiver to receive the payload. In Wiz Toolbox, you have the option to save your configurations as templates. Click Save as Template to save your settings for future reference, or if same settings is needed to be uploaded to another device. A pop-up will appear, give it a name and click Save. Wiz Toolbox supports the traditional AT commands. Go to the Advanced tab and click Open Console. You can send AT commands by typing them in the typing space, or you can click the green terminal icon to search for commands from a list of the most commonly used commands. In the firmware section, you can go up to custom to upload any custom firmware created using RUI3 APIs. It must be in a zip file to be accepted by Wiz Toolbox. Click on official to update the firmware with the latest versions of RUI3. In the template section, you can create new templates, see templates in list and column view, group and sort templates by parameters, and apply templates to a device. To create a new template, click New Template or the plus icon. Select Create New Template or Import Template. Select the device from the list, give it a name and select the settings for LARA P2P or LARA1 network. To save it, click Save Template. To upload the created template to a device, Select the template and click the free button icon at the bottom and click Apply Template. Select the connected devices and click Apply to selected device. A window will appear with all the settings applied. Click the Close button to return to the templates. Finally, you can synchronize all your information in the cloud with your Rack ID. Just click the Cloud button next to the Login button and all this information will be synced. Let's change some settings in this template and click Save Template. When you save the configuration, it is also automatically updated in the cloud and a message will be displayed. If not, just click on the cloud icon and it will update all the changes. To disconnect your device, tap the eject icon next to the device name. An alert message will appear and confirm that you want to disconnect your device and that's it. Your device is disconnected from Wish Toolbox with the settings you applied. As you can see, configuring your IoT device with Wish Toolbox is simpler and fast in running configurations and managing your IoT devices. We hope that this tutorial will help you create your IoT projects easily. We'd like to hear from you, share your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments. For more details, please refer to our Wish Toolbox documentation in the link in the description.